live. So I'm making mm -hmm. sure that it's actually live there. And then of course, yep, there he goes. I just got the notification, so. All right, so let me go. go on YouTube, get the link, tweet it out, <laughs> you know, make sure maybe, you know, we get some people in here, maybe hopefully, you know how that goes as well. Because we gotta, we gotta get a couple of people in here. Maybe, maybe even two, maybe a whole two. Let's control copy this. And that's good, that's good, that's good. Twitter, el Twitter, what's happening? Let's say control V and let's see what we got going on. We are live with at trusty. Wait a minute, where's my trusty at? With trust sidekick three. Click it, tweet. All right, boom, there you go. Let me get, I am kind of running a little behind schedule. I don't even have the little chat app up. So Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's Monday, you know. It is a Monday. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch up on everything. Enable that. Let that catch up. Let me put this on a side view here. Put this over here. And boom, we should be good to go. All right. Looks like everything is good to go. <laughs> and Lady Celtic Moon is on in the chat. She says, OMG. What's up, Lady <laughs> Celtic Moon? How you doing? I am I'm running. You got here, but you're the first. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am running a little bit behind schedule. A little bit. Try to keep yeah. a very rigid schedule there. D. Yeah. I mean, you know, like us telling you I was waiting on the spousal. Uh, alone again. We're all, I, I mean, it's just me and Trusty. Trusty counts. Trusty counts. That's what people come here to see. They come here to see the great art of Trusty Psychic. And of course, uh, oh, I talked to the lady, the young lady that does uh, that writes, and uh, she was asking me how everybody liked you know what, what she wrote. I told her that everybody loved it. Oh yeah. And then I asked her what her rates were and she's like, Oh, I don't I don't write for commission. I was like, What? Hey little SG, how you doing? I was like, No. She she's just like, writes for herself and no, no, she writes for she writes for fun. So oh, she okay. says she'll help, but she's not gonna charge and I don't I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable. You know, I, I wanna I wanna pay people. Whoever is involved in the project, I want them I wanna pay them. Right. Um people people's work is worth money, especially they're putting time. But um, you know, I definitely, definitely. Trusty, hey, what happened to your name? My <laughs> skin is in the house. <laughs> Trustinian Psychicamus. That's uh that's because I keep messing his name up. <laughs> He keeps doing that to me, so I thought, let's make it official for tonight. Yeah, I do that. I do that just to mess with with Trusty. That's why his name is what it is. He'll he'll go back to being regular old Trusty Psychic. <laughs> Marcus the Man, the Myth, the Cheeseburger Legend it's in the hizzy. Yeah, we're just chilling, man. And I we're stream we're multicasting to YouTube and Twitch and all that. Uh, magnificent stuff. Uh, so no music in the background. I apologize for the people like uh, Little SG that is uh, that are used to D live streams with uh, wonderful music background. So I apologize to them in advance because um, YouTube don't play that, and I'm already on strike too. <laughs> like, like YouTube hit me already on a segundo. So it's like, oh, yeah, oh. they got me. And they, it's my fault though. You know, I know, I know what the rules are. You know, and I, I still continue to, to mess with him. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I, I got to figure out something. I don't know what rates are for writers. Like, I definitely want to um, get all my thoughts together and, and have the young lady. Um, <laughs> no worry, little SG. Have the young lady definitely do some editorials 
and figure out, you know, a, a way to uh, compensate her for her trouble. Right. Um, because that's only fair. That's only fair. And um, yeah, but then I'm at the conundrum because I don't know if you saw that whole a whole thing, um, but there was like Pablo uh, um, Shabby wanted to do the pencils, but I was really hoping to get you to do the pencils, <laughs> um, which you know, because because you did the you know, the, you know I wanted to be all digital bullpen, so I don't know. We'll we'll. Um, but first, you I got to finish chapter writing. thing, you know, have different people penciling different chapters of the story. Yeah, that might work. Ara Galanian is in the house, apparently. Hey, Ara. Let's see. Hold on. Minimum write per page is starting rate 35, corporate rate 75 to 100. Okay. Wow. 13. Cool. So that's for, for writers? That's what she's saying. Yeah. All right. Well, then I could deal with that. It says 35 per page, 75 to 100 per page. Hopefully I don't, it's not a long story. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a long story, man. So yeah, so that's, that's good. I think I could do that. What's up, Pablo Romero? Uh, Pablo Romero, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, d -Li. All those places where uh, Pablo Romero is uh, throwing uh, the less sexy ladies. Pablo's in the house doing Pablo things. So that's good. Um, that's good. I could find a happy medium between the 100 and the 35. Um, let me see what she said again. Let's see. Let's see. Please refrain. Oh, she posted a link. And my thing got met at her. Oh, really? Oh, okay, she posted a link on a YouTube. No, that's that's. I sp hold on. Trusty, carry on for me. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have no idea what's going on, but uh, hope everyone had a very nice weekend. Uh, we went up to visit my son up at college, and went up into the mountains to an orchard, picked some apples. Not a whole lot left, but they uh, they had some nice wine saps. Took them back to the B&B &B we were staying at, made a pie for my son and his friends who came over to have dinner. And then uh, Sunday morning, got up and went to a little place in town where they had some baby goats. So we got to pet and feed the baby goats. So that was cool. My son really got a kick out of that. But he said that his favorite part were the collies. He, he likes the dogs. But the goats were—they were a lot softer than I thought they'd be, and uh, they were really funny. Boy, when you—he brought out the treats for us to give them the animal crackers and stuff. Boy, they went crazy for that stuff. They were pushing each other, trying to get to you. The big ones were—you know—if the little ones stepped up on the hay bale, the big ones knocked them off. <laughs> they like that stuff. All right, I'm back. I apologize for leaving you hanging like that, my brother. That's all right. <laughs> we talked smack about you the whole time. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> the spousal unit walked into the hizzy. <laughs> no, I told everybody about picking apples and, and petting goats. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super you, uh, exciting. You went, you went to see, you went to the apple place, mm -hmm. the apple tree place. Yeah. Yeah, Let's they have a vineyard there too. Um, so, you know, they had wine tastings. We couldn't stay for that, but uh, they had a nice store there. Yeah, it was, it was very pleasant. It was a beautiful day to be outside. Nice. Trusty, they're asking what's the new artwork you're doing? This is the same um, one that I was working on before. Uh, this is, here's the pencils. Okay. And so I um, printed it out in blue lines on a fresh piece of Bristol because I really, I really gouged the paper in a few places. So I thought have a nice pristine piece to put inks on. All right, awesome. So uh, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl is asking Good Dog where he's at. You better answer. I think he already answered the spousal unit, so. You know, 
You know how she gets. If he don't answer, she'll start cap capitalizing him. Well, now if he's not, you know, streaming, does he, you know, still rush to get home? I mean, uh, no, he's uh, he's chilling, man. All right, minimum rate page, writing, inks, letters. All right, cool. Thanks, Lady Celtic Moon. I got the independent minimum rates. I'm gonna go with independent rates. Corporate. I'm not doing corporate, so it's independent rates. Thirty-five for page. Pencils one twenty-five. Inks ninety. Colors fifty. Letters twenty. Might I might have to not. Uh, I might not have to hire a Wapo. Cut corners. <laughs> Do my own inks. <laughs> All right. Got it. I got it, Lady Celtic Moon. I am checking. I checked it. I have received it. And because uh, unlike online Manny, when I'm streaming, my phone is next to me because sometimes people are tweeting and whatnot. He's shopping and must be using his phone. Lo and behold. I know I'm reading for skunk girl. That's crazy, ain't it? Manny Licious actually using his phone. That's crazy. Cray. That is crazy. Because he's crazy for you. But anyway, all right, Lady Celtic Moon, thank you so much. She's not a professional. Proficio? I'm going to say professional. But it's all good. Indeed, indeed. But her writing style is amazing, though. I like, uh, I like what she was able to do with what, what little bit I gave her. So <laughs> she says, "Yeah, that it's okay. I know how to, I know how to read uh, typo." That's like a read. second language. Yeah. Well, remember, Kronos uh, had a busted keyboard. He used to come over here and type all kinds of gibberish. Is is that what it was? His keyboard was busted. His keyboard is busted. Yeah. Okay. All right. That explains a lot. Because yeah, yeah and, uh, to translate, you know, a little bit. Yeah. So I would just have to look at my keyboard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I I I can translate a few languages. Uh, broken keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spanish, English. So, oh man, I was I was watching um, a fight over the weekend because you know I'm a big boxing fan, right? Right. And right. the lady, the lady, uh, don't worry about it, little SG man. Thanks, uh, thanks for dropping by, man. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Before he asks, beef and vegetables for dinner tonight. Nice. We had chicken baby. apple couscous. Chicken apple couscous. I don't even know what that is. Uh, you know, couscous is a grain and, you know, it's very easy to fix. I think, I think ours was chicken flavored and you, we just had some cut up chicken breast and some cut up apples from the apples we picked over the weekend. And it's one of those quick and easy meals, but it's very satisfying. Nice. Yep. That is awesome. I understand fluent typo ease and I'm a carrier for typoglycemia. Typo. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's it's typos a thing that happen a lot. Hold on. Yeah. But yeah. So. So anyway, I was like, um, so the guy, the lady, asked the boxer, you know, hey, um, something along the lines of. How did you prepare for the fight? Blah, 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 blah. You know, what are you planning to do? What statement were you making? Right. Uh -huh. And uh, so the guy um, answered. She's like, oh, we trained hard. We did this. We did that. Blah, blah, blah. The interpreter says, we're better than the current champion right now. And we're ready to fight him. I was like, wait a minute. That's, That's not what, what he said. said. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he said. Why are you getting your fighter uh, all, already into all kinds of trouble? I'm sure if his fighter, one of someone's gonna actually speaks English and Spanish, is gonna say, "Yo, this is what your translator actually said." Um, so you know, maybe you might want to get a better translator. But I think the translator was caught, you know, in the hype of the fight and all that stuff, and he just wanted to feel like he was part of the team. So I guess he took the liberty to speak for the boxer. I don't know what that was about. Jeez. But no. 
my wife knows. I'm super critical. Every single time they have someone translating like a Spanish, um, Spanish speaking fighters words. Yeah. This is this is the phrase she always hears. That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's that's not what he said. What what are you talking about? But it's not even close. Well, the thing is, the thing with most translators is they're one language dominant, right? Sure. So they either they can speak some span some English and are Spanish dominant, or they can speak some Spanish are English dominant, right? Right. So sometimes the translations get lost, but that that translation that was nothing to do with anything that was being asked or said. I was like, "Whoa, that is way off." That is way off. Like, I don't know what was going on there. And you, you don't know. Now, maybe somebody told him, said, all right, listen, this is what you need to do. You need to really whip up the frenzy because we're going to try to get a lot of money out of the next fight. But this was only his first professional fight. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. All right. <laughs> I mean, he is a good fighter, and he's he's a Cuban fighter, which means he's probably had about two, three hundred amateur fights. So he's probably ready to fight. But that's not the point. The point it was like his first fight. He won by knockout, very convincing. But nonetheless, it was his first fight. We we need to we need to uh, pump the brakes a little bit there, just a little bit. Just. A yeah, it's crazy. Most of my work better than Skunk Girl. I have those in the summer here. Oh, they, oh, let's see. I love soup, but living in Hawaii, I don't make it often due to it already being hot and not needing comfort food. Mm. Manny's sitting over there at Home Depot talking about I'm all the comfort food you need. So I don't know. I don't know. You know. That's what Manny said. He said, I'm all the comfort food you need. Uh, that's between you and Manny. You know, grown folk stuff is, is none of my concern. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I tend to leave them alone. That's right, kids. You heard it here. Yeah, I don't. I don't get involved. I don't get involved, man. I don't get involved. Not at all. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so another Lady Celtic Moon gave me that. I'm definitely gonna um, talk talk to the young person again and see if they're willing because I like what what she did all right so I got a question for you and for the chat all right go ahead I have no answers what is a food that most people think is just not good but that you just love huh. for whatever reason whether I don't know about food. Or what? I don't know about food but there's a drink that I love that people don't can't stand What's that? Mata Goya. It's a, it's oh, a yeah, sure. It's a Malta. You know what that is? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's it's like a malted beverage, but it's not as non-alcoholic. Okay. And uh, it, it really tastes pretty strong. So it's like a it's like an acquired taste, super acquired taste. I love it though. I grew up on it. That is that is that is my drink. As far as foods, I don't know. That is a great question. I was thinking about this because I had something the other day that it's one of those things that, you know, if I know I'm going to be batching it if the wife is gone and maybe my son is working so I don't have to worry about cooking for him. Then I'll I'll pick up one of these and eat it. And it just takes me back to when I was, you know, a student, which is Totino's party pizzas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean they're they're not great, you know, but I just love the flavor and I love the the crust. It gets right. all you know, air pockets and crunchy, and it's just one of those things. Does it remind you of your college days? Yeah, that and the uh, ramen noodles, of course. Because that that's mostly why anybody would eat that. Kids eat it though. Kids love it. Well, my kids did. I love the little pizza rolls because they could just microwave them. Oh, the pizza rolls, yeah. Yeah, they would just, psh, it'd be done. Ragged Man says, hey, yo, how you doing? Raggedy? I'm ready to cut the socks here, but I live in Pata. Start with Bounce bon, Cougar. Ooh, I don't know what that mm -hmm. is. 
Ham hock or slab bacon? Liver pata. Kale? Oh, I don't like kale at all. I, I can't figure. I don't understand that yeah. that concept. We had a nice kale salad the other night. It was the, with some slaw type dressing. That was pretty good. But the dressing was really overpowering the flavor. Yeah. That is, I think that's what you need if you're going to eat kale. Something that overpowers the flavor. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people put it in smoothies, you know, get some vitamins in there. Uh, good Dog Press says bacon, bacon. Well, you Everybody know, likes bacon. Come on. Well, good, good Dog, you know, Good Dog likes bacon. He's Good Dog. And, you know, you know, like that bacon strips commercial, he's over there doing bacon, 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 bacon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. That's what that's what that's really about. Don't don't let don't let good dog fool you, man. He's over there jumping around, wagging his tail. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Yeah, you remember that? I don't know if the if the younger generation that man, do they still do those commercials? I think though? they do. I, I think they still do begging strips. I was about to say I might I might be telling my age on that commercial. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Marcus is laughing. <laughs> Yeah, right. Who say who doesn't leave you alone? Uh good dog. You don't leave us alone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who doesn't leave him alone. Everybody leaves good dog alone. You know, he, he is uh he is the man, the myth, the legend, the good dog press legend. Marcus is the cheeseburger legend. KG in the house saying hello all to everybody. Hello, KG. Like KG. Quitting time in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. But at least it's warm over there. Yeah, we're getting. I like the temperature it is now, though, over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, it's still, you know, Mild enough during the day. You don't need a jacket, at least today. But, uh, you know, it gets cool at night. Good, Hold good on. Under the blankets. I'm sorry, dude. I missed what he said. Did, did he leave? Is he gone? Okay, so should we talk about him now? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get myself in trouble. Uh, I'm not that stupid. I mean, I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Anybody else got some food out there that nobody in their right mind likes, but you like? Sure. I'm sorry, man. I had to put you on pause for a second. My wife couldn't find her phone. <laughs> oh, man. So sorry about that. It says uh, it's now the trusty show. Yeah, ragged man. It had to be for a second. My, my wife comes home late, and everything goes to hell in the handbasket. But it is what it is. If it's the trusty show, it ain't much of a show. Are you kidding me with all that awesome artwork? Yeah, but I'll just sit here quietly drawing. I know, I know, I know. And I'm over here just trying to. Uh, Help find the phone. Oh, I see. So you're calling. Okay. Yeah. And she was like, I can't find my phone. Call. All right. She found it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my job. Call the phone. That is why people get married, you know, to help find lost things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, and I need that all the time. I can't find nothing. Yep. It is how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. We're back on track a little bit. The trusty show is still the trusty show, just with a little bit more E now. <laughs> just with a little bit more E now. With a special guest, E or T. Yeah, yeah. Um, many inspired me with sketching prompts. I needed a lot for drawing this month. I ended up finding 208 drawing prompts. Jeez. Who? Oh. And we have uh, Plus Ultra in the house, a.k.a. Josh Chris, a.k.a. El Copit Kid. What's up, Josh? Hey, what's up, guys? Not much, man. Sorry it took me a little bit there to, to see you in the back room, but uh, 
<laughs> You're good, man. That was, I was I literally calling, just hopped on, so I was calling uh calling phones. <laughs> I was doing doing my, my duties. That's a good spousal unit. Yeah, so what's going on, Josh? Man, how you been? Oh, just going. Trying to work on this whenever I can. When is that con? Uh, what is it? That twenty something. I mean, I'm not going to have this done by then. This is. It's most likely be the cons for uh, for next year. It's just taking right. too long. Um, but yeah, the twenty second through the twenty fourth, uh, Galaxy Con in Louisville. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, so right before Thanksgiving. Yep. <laughs> Paolo says, when is Josh ever going to finish that drawing? Well, I only ever get to do well, work on it is whenever I'm streaming with you guys because all the rest of the time I'm actually doing originals and some commissions and that type of stuff. It's, I only do the digital whenever I hop on here. Ah, all right. There you go. Josh will finish the sketch when the sketch when the Marina says Josh will finish the sketch when the sketch wants to be finished. Pinky <laughs> when will you make an end of it, Bonarotti? But yeah, I mean, uh, once I get the characters on there, the background will be easy. But and then right after I get done with this one, I'll have a um, few Pokemon uh, prints I'm going to do. And then they all consist of just one Pokemon each because I did these little bitty five by seven cards that kids, you know, run up to the table because they can name all the Pokemon I have on my table and only charge five bucks for a little print. So the kids go crazy trying to each year try and get all my new ones that I make for them. Nice. And then uh, so I have a few of those I got to do. And then I'll have a... Um, my Hero Academia poster that I'm going to try and get done. Cool, cool, cool. This one just took double the time because I was already inking it by hand. And then I was like, dang, I'm like, why am I wasting my time doing that? No one ever buys the original poster, so I'm just going to digitize it. So I lost some time where I was, I'm having to double ink it. Right. Yeah, digital inking is all right. I understand. <laughs> Pablo says he has a similar problem with his comic. Rebel Comics says Manny and the Dingo. <laughs> oh my lord! I don't know when that's happening, Rebel, but Manny says it's happening soon. Coming mm -hmm. soon to a YouTube channel near you. Is it after fulfillment? Yeah, it's after fulfillment. All right. Everybody's looking forward to uh, what madness will ensue. Yeah, because that's going to be interesting. Okay. Definitely going to have to watch the replays because he says it's going to be a later show. So definitely going to have to watch the replays. See what happened there. Uh oh, just to reek on his comics, just oh, what's going on here? Oh man, <laughs> live now, just to reek on his comics. Uh, ERT, just to reek on his comics, just gave us a little bit of love on uh, on uh, whatchamacallit on Instagram. Cool, man, thank you very much. Thanks, and yeah, and congratulations to just to reek on his comics. He hit a thousand subscribers, yeah, that's fantastic. You know, so that's amazing news. Well deserved. He's a good guy. I know. I just, I just said, <laughs> I just said. I was just mentioning that you had, uh, that you had, um, gave me a little bit of love on Instagram, man. Greatly appreciate it. I was just telling the group, you know, and that also that you had just hit um a thousand sub. Well, you already hit a thousand subs a while back, but you know, I was letting them know that you were at the thousand sub mark. So well deserved, my brother. Yeah, he did his thousand sub celebration recently, I think, right? Yeah, I think he did. He was doing some big things, man. 
you know. Now now we now everybody just wants to be as great as Rod the Rican, aka just the Rican as a commie. Those guys have a good time when they stream, that's for sure. Yeah, he's saying uh Ortiz will trusty and Ortiz will do some work together. Just so busy and tired. I get you, brother. I get you. We love you too, Rod, man. Shoot, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's getting sentimental on us, man. <laughs> we love you too, Rod. Nah, he's, he's a good guy, man. I really do like him. He's a good kid, man. Like, shoot, hitting a thousand subs is uh, it's amazing, dude. It's good stuff. And he's all he's always uh, in case y'all haven't checked him out. He does a uh, couple of shows. He does the Recon scale where he rates comics on his own scale. And then he has uh, Tuesday Triple Threat. I, I was going to say, he's it. got one scheduled to premiere tomorrow. Yeah, he has his Tuesday Triple Threat where they talk about the new and upcoming great comics. You know, <laughs> he's giving me the, he's, he's giving the pound. So he's probably doing, doing that to Marcus. But uh, yeah, so he's got a good show. Check him out if y'all got the chance. You know, if y'all like to, if y'all still read, well, they do everything. They do independent comics. They do Marvel. They do DC, Image, Tire Course. You know, they talk about different books. He have he did a, like a lunch stream today, and uh, he was talking about a book that he's reading. So y'all can go check that out if y'all want to. It was pretty interesting stuff. Marcus says like he's videos. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, I was going to say, I, I like those videos that um, Comic Jabroni has been doing, sort of educating you about different uh, different things with the comics, like different variants and, and what, uh, you know, what some of these things mean. I can't remember the, the specific one I, I watched the other day, but uh, I'd never heard of this before. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty good about it. He'll even throw in a little weightlifting diet. <laughs> Diet ex diet tips, weightlifting tips, and then you'll go back to his comics. And like, bourbon oh. reviews. And bourbon <laughs> reviews. Yeah, We're Jabroni so, He says, look, I do it. I, I am a renaissance. He, Jabroni says he's a renaissance reekin, man. He does it all. That's right. You know, he's a, he's a renaissance reekin. He does it all. And uh, yeah, but shoot, man, definitely check them all out, man. They're good people and then they, they support because, you know, Clement Trebroni, he commissioned Trusty, do some work for him. So, you know, they're mm -hmm. also supportive of the, of the of the artist. So, you know, if you get support a chance, go support them back. Yeah, man. Give them a little bit of love, man. <laughs> and I know it's late. Because uh, he's on the East Coast, so I know he's soon. His wife is gonna give him the evil look, and he's gonna gonna have to jump out. You know how that goes. We understand. Trust me. We truly understand. <laughs> yeah, man. But other than that, man. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah. So now we got some things going on. It's just a matter now. I guess it's a, it's a matter of getting that, getting those thoughts together for the Orincanier and uh, start working on that story. See if we can get the young lady to ag agree to terms. You know, I don't think she wants to do commission writing, but you know, just she's she's too talented. And I don't want her to just, I don't feel right, you know, like just continuously asking her for help and not compensating. Now, is she just a writer or is she also an artist? She's just a writer. Okay. Well, maybe you can work out a trade. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. You know, but I'm not pushing it too hard or too fast. You know, I still got to put a whole bunch of all these thoughts down. Yeah. So, to... um, Macho Dan sent me a script for a little four-page story. He won a contest, won a little money to right. have the story, you know, 
produced and asked if I'd be interested. I said, sure, send me the script. Let me, let me read it. So he sent it to me the other weekend and I read it. It's really funny. It, it's good. I like it. It's a zombie apocalypse thing in four pages. Nice. Cool. So when is that going to happen? I don't know. We'll, we'll see, you know, I'm start to, I'm already seeing that, you know, the page is laid out in my head. So, you know, I don't know exactly when I might start working on that. Uh, kind of depends on if I, you know, have some drawings I have to get done for Christmas, that kind of thing. Mm. That'd be awesome. Hey, look, like I said, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I like Macho Dan. He's pretty good. He's a pretty funny dude. Yeah. Yeah, we were up at, um, you know, Liberty and when we were trading messages and he said, oh, man, you know, it's too bad it's not a game this weekend. We got season tickets to Liberty. His wife went to Liberty and daughter doing Liberty online. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, really? That would have been cool. You know, if it was game weekend, we'd all been up there at the same time. We could have gotten together. Nice. That's right. You're all from the same area. Oh, same well, state same anyway. Area, the opposite yeah. end of the state. <laughs> Ross says, yeah, I'm tired. He says he's tired. I kind of figured, man. He's he's a good guy, man, though. Yeah, but uh, yeah, match with Dan is good. As a matter of fact, I need to uh, definitely get together with Mutt, man, and then see what uh, see what's going on with uh, Hero. Mutt man streaming right now, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Marania says, I don't give my husband the evil eye. Now the puppy dog eye is guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> they work too. Yeah, I, I don't know because cause I've been, you know, like I don't know if any of that stuff works. I just know it's a cue for me to be like, all right, let me just go ahead and get this out the way. But like invoking any emotions like oh my gosh she's mad at me or whatever I'm like, oh, whatever no. i'm too old for that i'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah whatever I'm like, oh okay she, she's upset all right let me see what she's what the heck she she's over there being upset about now you know, we'd, Let's see. All right, chat is pretty cool. Everything's pretty copacetic. Yeah. All right, Matt Shoe. Hey. Yeah. So uh, on my last stream, we had uh, we had a couple of dislikes. I was like, wow, that was crazy. What? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why, but I did wrong. But apparently, I did something wrong. Some people were hurt. <laughs> it's terrible. It may not have been something you did. It could have been something someone else said on your stream. It could be, yeah. It was not me. It's always trusty. Not me. Can't trust a guy whose name is Trusty. Oh, gosh. I yeah, don't know. Maybe, maybe it was Pope Fire because I was drawing Raven and I said, Hell Raven. I don't know. Oh, um, uh, yeah. That'll do it. That was probably uh, it. I doubt it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I don't even I just looked at it the other I just looked at it today. I was like, oh let me look. Oh wow, huh? I really don't even pay that much attention to it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I just keep it moving. I I just like doing these streams because like we get we get a chance to chill out and talk. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So my boss ruined the new tran uh, Terminator movie for me. Yeah, I, I haven't heard any good reviews on it yet. Oh, he hated it. <laughs> I haven't heard no. anything good about that movie. Well, after he told me about it, I went and read the the full script of it, and I was like, "This is garbage." Oh man! Well, yeah, I had I, I had so high hopes for for it, and yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna see it. Yeah, if I do, it, be, it better be free. I don't think I've watched one since two. <laughs> oh, I just yeah. actually watched three Salvation this weekend. Uh, just to remind myself of how bad uh, Terminator Salvation was. I actually like Genesis, but it brings up too many questions that I can never get answered. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I enjoy the franchise, even though it's cheesy and stupid as 
some of the things are, but well, apparently what they did in this one, uh, it's a deal breaker for a lot of people. Yeah, but you know when they try to move, uh, it's one of the reviews <laughs> that that uh, that I saw was like, hey, if you haven't been in the franchise and you're just picking up the director of, you know, the director of title role for it, uh, don't mess with the franchise. <laughs> just do what the writer wrote. Well, I heard, yeah, I heard a lot of stuff that Cameron came in and Cameron, you know, gave his two cents on some stuff, but Miller, or I think, yeah, they have the, Miller, I think is his name, mm -hmm. uh, only went with a few things that Cameron told him to do. But Cameron at the end was still okay with it all. Hmm. But yeah, the, but he's had a few things to say about himself. Uh, Cameron did. And he was like, "This is not, you know, what I had written." Yeah, that's what they Except were saying. Like one it. part I did. I, he did admit the one part that happens kind of early in the movie was him. I was like, "Oh, well, that's your fault, and that's the whole reason I'm not going to see it." <laughs> yeah, they, they said there's a there's a lot of. You know, it just doesn't make sense. One guy said the the best part was like the first five minutes of the movie, and then after that, it went downhill. He's kind so of I don't my know. boss said. My, actually, my boss said that once uh, Arnold comes into it, he goes, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Salvation is the only, let's see. Salvation is the only one I can tolerate from the sequels of T2 because the only one that tried something different to show some of the war against machines, what T3 should have been. I'll give you that. Salvation went into the you know, future, showed us what was going on. Their problem was they hired Christian Bale, and he was not a believable John Connor. I, it just, I didn't like his performance at all. And I, I love Christian Bale. I did not like him in that movie. Yeah. I like Christian Bale too. Uh, let's see. Ragged Man says Cameron has has given glowing reviews to all movies, only to badmouth them after they leave theaters. Yeah, I mean he he really. I mean in the uh, there was a uh, some stuff that happened before it came out. He was you know talking a lot of praise, and then like right after everyone this weekend was pretty much you know they made like twenty nine million in the states, and they need to make like a what was it uh, at least two hundred million to break even. Yeah. Something like and that, and they don't—they don't even predict that they're going to make that. And then Cameron was all like, "Well, look, I, this isn't the script that I wrote. I wrote this and this and this." And Miller decided to do his own thing. Yeah, well, you know, Miller said he was going to do his own thing from the very beginning. Yeah, and we can see that it's not going to pay off. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Mean it in the most sincere. Go, go big or go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, That's one of those franchises, though. You know, you don't mess with. Back to the Future, Terminator. You know, the, the old classics like that. You know, you, you can push some stuff, but I don't know. You don't want to push too far away from the norm. Well, that's the point, right? That that they um, they want to push some kind of agenda, and then they want to do it through the movie. And the movie has nothing to do with agendas. <laughs> the movie is just an action flick. Robots versus humans. And I think they kind of lost that. You know? Did you all see Genesis? Yeah, I saw Genesis. Yeah, the last one before yeah, this one. Genesis, the girl, uh, em, uh, Emilia Clark. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I, like, I, think, uh, I think I didn't have a problem with that one either. I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, obviously there's a few things you go, eh, but, you know, they, they were introducing the concept of a different timeline. So I was like, that's cool. And that's pretty much what they did with, with this latest installment, too. It's a different timeline from what we all were expecting. Hmm. But I, I like Genesis. I thought, I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, Paolo says, surprisingly, some critics are saying that the enhanced girl boy of the new one is not bad at all. Now, I heard some of the actors were actually good doing their acting, but that the movie was just terrible. Like, you can have great actors in a bad movie. You know, like Robert Downey's been in a few bad movies, but he's always been good as an actor. Uh, Paolo says that Genesis was, Genesis was awful, says Pablo. 
Look, it, to me, it was better than Salvation and Three. I don't have no problems. I don't have no problems with Genesis, man. But um, but that's just me. That's just me. I agree with Josh. I thought it was okay. I didn't think yeah, it was- it's not the first one or second one. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like third on the list. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad, bad. You know what I mean? Right. Like, not like this one. And this one looks like it might be the worst out of the franchise. Yeah, this one could definitely be the one that puts the franchise to bed for a little bit. Yeah, and it, those things happen, you know. And you you know, this is one of those franchises too. It's like they they admitted they were wanting to pass the baton from a certain act, actor, and I'm like, man, he made the movie. <laughs> you really gonna think you're gonna get Terminator away from Arnold? I mean. I would not do that, do that at all. <laughs> well, he is kind of old now, but he still he he's still, still great. Part. He still looks the part. Exactly. You know, it's like uh, Hugh Jackman saying he doesn't want to play Wolverine anymore, and nobody's like, and everyone's like, ah, well, you know, you you, you kind of did too good of a job there playing Wolverine. Yeah, but Disney's wanting to, you know, is trying to get him now. So he gets that Disney money. That's going to be a lot different than that Fox money. That is true. This new money is uh, is something else. It'd be kind of weird though if they had an all new cast and and him still around. I mean, Wolverine is Wolverine. Totally I think they're gonna, violent. I think they're gonna use him for crossovers. I don't think they're gonna do another like Wolverine solo movie. No, I think they should just do the next X Men installment and let him come in or or do something with him. That'd be kind of cool. I think they're just gonna use him for like crossover stuff. I don't think he's gonna get like his solo stuff. Oh, okay. Like it's not gonna be like a whole Wolverine movie. Like they don't need to do another Wolverine by himself movie. Yeah, they already did. That, that, that's done. <laughs> <laughs> Logan was if they had done Logan first, I would have been all for more Wolverine movies, but unfortunately it was the last one. <laughs> What did you think of the Wolverine, the one that took place in Japan? Oh, I, I watched it once in theaters, and I was like, "I'm never owning this movie." Okay, I was like, "I can't, I can't deal with it." I had not a couple of neat concepts, but overall, I mean, don't get me wrong, Hugh Jackman looked amazing in it, but yeah. and there was a few scenes I couldn't. He was chopping the wood; his veins were popping out really grossly, and I was like, "Oh, that's not believable! Oh, no one's arm looks like that." <laughs> His boss is too jack, man. I mean, just can't do it that. And I also, like I like that one a whole lot more than um, X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, I'll, I'll give you that. The sequel was better than the first one. The only thing about the first one, I liked the guy who played Sabretooth. Yeah, yeah. He uh, was good. I love his acting. I love whenever he's in movies. Yeah, he, he's, good, he's just uh, one of those guys you don't catch very often. <laughs> also, but, a very important thing is that people forget you need Terminator music. <laughs> is that not in it? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh man! If the, yeah, if the Terminator music, oh, that's coming. <sighs> uh, let's matter. Let's welcome Manny in. Okay, um, in. We're Folks talking about in. robots. Woo-hoo! Yeah, Lee Shriver. There you go, Ragged Man. Thanks so much. I thought that's who it was. Yeah. Hello. What's going on? So, so your so your name says that the books are in. That's books that's in. that's uh that's very promising. Books are in. I mean, it didn't take me a year. Whoa. You know that that's Am I pretty amazing. Say that? Am I not yeah, you, you can say and it. you work and you work a full time job too. Uh, uh, um, hello, people. You can say it. I don't have no problems with you saying that if it's the truth. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. That's the oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, zoom in. in. Let's all zoom stop. There, in. there you go. Here's the sketch cover. That's the original cover. And that's the variant cover. And to make sure that it's not just a, a book with a cover on it, there is Skunk Girl. Uh oh, it's printed. And Do you have the cards too? And the cards are done. Yeah, you had the cards last stream. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I didn't see that. 
I don't think that's part of it. And, and printed up the prints that go with it. Here's the prints. I just got a trim. Here is the exclusive print for the early birds. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I get one of those. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll be packing up a lot of stuff tomorrow so I can take it to the post office on Wednesday and start fulfilling in November. Oh, my God. I'm on time. Just in time. On time. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that he's going to hand personally hand KG KG's copy so he can say he fulfilled. So <laughs> I could have done that today, but I did it. <laughs> yeah, oh, so he hasn't fulfilled yet. Well, I, shame on Manny. No, I'm just kidding. I can give a copy to my my wife, and it's fulfilled. Ah, that <laughs> brilliant. Yes, people, this is the book. It is book. It is here. Lady Celtic Moon says she was the first one to back. She gets the right. first copy. Well, I got something special for Lady Celtic Moon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you guys can see, I mean, if you go to the back of the book, we got the Pizza Day. That is a story by Shinobi Raccoon. And it is 80 pound paper, people. I went through this whole book. There is no wrinkles whatsoever. Nice. No fluting, huh? None. No, 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 dude. This is this is really great printing. The cover, the cover is 130 pound stock, so very oh, thick. That looks really nice, dude. It really it's, does. And it's and you guys can see it's glossy cover. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it. Glossy interior. You guys can see. I mean, this is a whole page printed, no fluting at all. It's totally straight. I mean, this has a lot of ink, so if anything, these Pages should have been all wrinkled, but no, they're all totally, you know, flat. That's really, beautiful, really, man. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a difference. I mean, it's all it all comes down to paperweight. If you go with the sixty pound, seventy pound, you're asking for trouble with that much ink. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was like a black and white comic book, you can get away with it, but but not a color comic book. No ways. You you got to go eighty pounds or eighty pound paper. Yeah. So I mean, it can it. Came out really good. I mean, you guys remember me doing this page? Mm -hmm. That came out super cool. You know? So it's it's there, people. It's in my hands. <laughs> and Lady Celtic Moon says, can she get a shot of the front again? There's the front of that cover. And it's a wraparound, so you got the back also. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. And then you got the spine, the unbreathable skunk girl, number one. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm that is cool nice. when you open it up you got the original cover that was going to be that i made way way back geez a year ago i pretty much came up with this idea mm -hmm. and then I, I did this painted cover and then we got the variant cover tank ferret yeah oh look who's there in the front me laying all upside there, down <laughs> <laughs> under, under scalpel zero and then when you turn the book, of course, you got the title and then you got the back cover. Look at Willie Reed. Yeah. A little girly. Yeah. You got KG. Niobe. Niobe. You got everybody. You got Vestry over That's, here. Yeah, Damon. Yeah. You got all kinds of people on there. You got, uh, what, what's that one? That's uh, Nio, Niobe. And what is the other one? Avana. 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 Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So. That's what we got. And it's all legal. Got, got it legal. I did. I don't, I don't get all stores. Yep. This is all legal, people. That's how you do it. And well, then cheers. Got, here's to you. And here's the just the what you call it, the sketch cover. Sketch cover. Yeah. So there's a lot of room for me to do sketches. And there are some people that's going to get the sketch cover. So it's coming, people. I will be fulfilling this week. Yay. And here's a tank fair print. I made it so I can slip it in the back so it, I'm not going to fold it or anything. This will fit right into the comic book, right behind the comic book. I still got to trim everything. But nice. be feel. That way people can see their, their varying cover, what it looks like in the back. Now, is Shinobi's story in the back, since that's a manga style, does that read mm -hmm. right to left? Yes. 
<laughs> so you have oh. to open it up to the end of the book and read it right right to left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it goes from eight, uh, page 80 to page 80, uh, 75. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And this is printed on heavy stock paper. This is not, this is 80 pound paper, people. Not, not cheapy stuff. That way when people get it, it's like, hmm, this is just not a seven cent copy, you know, photocopy. This is actually done on 80 pound paper. So it has some bite to it. Hey, you guys are nice. doing everything with it. We're giving you some publicity on Twitter. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Thank you very Same. much. Saying that it's in, Lady Celtic Moon said it's in already. Lady Celtic Moon is asking, how many books did you print? That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> that I will have to, because there was a lot of damage. Really? There's a lot of damage, and I, I have enough to fulfill. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. I am. I have to send all the pictures to them. I actually made a video. I made a video, the extensive video of me opening up every single box was damaged. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, this is how bad the damage was, people. I printed up 50 of these sketch covers. I'm rejecting 35 of them. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's 70% that's I'm rejecting. So, yeah. That printing company needs to make things right. And it's and it's not the print. The print is beautiful. This book was printed up beautiful. It's the way they shipped it. Oh. And I took a lot of pictures of the way they shipped it. I was talking to the representative this morning, and he's you know he was saying weren't they ship wrap, ship, uh, shrink wrapped? I said no, they weren't even shrink wrapped. Uh -huh. They were put in a box, and it was it was not very good shipping. So yeah, that mm. I, I am working with them and. Uh, Hopefully they're gonna reprint all the damaged ones because there's a lot. There's a lot of damage. I think I'm just gonna eat by being able to fulfill, and that's it. And then I'm gonna have to wait to whenever they get me the the rest of the printing. I mean, they say they stand by their printing, so let's see if they do. Are you gonna have to send the damaged books back? I hope not because it's well over 200 books, dude. Yeah, no, but they should pay for the shipping though for that. Yeah, I mean it, it's crazy. It is crazy. I mean, yeah. it's it's nuts. It's it's it is what it is. Yeah. Mariah says I draw ninety pound paper, so eighty pound is a decent weight. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Well, Definitely. it's just a print, so. And I mean, that well, looks pretty good. I'm not gonna it's, lie. I mean, it's it's really nice. I mean, you guys seen this one before? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really nice. You can see no fluting. You can see the yeah that's smooth you can see it's smooth you watch the glare it goes right over there's no r ripples in that that glare mm -hmm. and that's a lot of ink on that page i mean that full page of ink that's a full bleed and there's there's nothing wrong with that at all yeah. so yeah, that looks amazing dude i mean you get what you pay for this was not a cheap book to print no really. But, I know you know, it wasn't. That's but. the whole thing. It's 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 to to build something, build building building reputation. So but no, no, I, and that, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It it might have not been cheap to print, but you you're gonna fulfill on time, and that that well, builds trust. Fulfill on time and fulfill with a good product. Yep. That that's uh, not subpar. You know, make sure you give a good product to the people that that back to you. I mean, they're taking a chance on you. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't give them something super cheap and you know get it out to them as soon, soon as possible we did go over the book as much as we could i flipped to the book and i could see a mistake one mistake and i was like damn it <laughs> and it's a minor minor mistake it, it has to do with one letter is smaller than the the rest of the letters but it's you know it did happen uh, now okay. we're all gonna be looking for it you're all gonna be looking for it. like what, which, which page is that on and you guys gotta go and you gotta go find all the the, the uh, artwork that's in here. I'll show yeah, you guys what I did for the fan artists. I'm not gonna give away anything in this book, but this is what I did it. for the fan artists. So that was a fan art contest. Right. So all these pieces of artwork 
chloroform. <laughs> They're in the book somewhere. So you nice. got to And there's Pope Raven. Got a whole page to themselves. Yeah. yeah. So that's really I gave, cute. I gave a lot of fan service, that's for sure. You know, thanking the fans for helping out, getting the word out, and making it a successful book. So it was fun. So yeah, all these pieces of artwork, they're they're somewhere in the book. You just gotta go find it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> they're they're hidden. Oh. So find these walls. Yeah. Neddy Kuntik Moose says, We love you, Manny. Pablo Romero says, Cool, man. I I I I I'm very cool in Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I like I like the book. I must put it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, man. no, that's awesome, dude, man. Yeah. So I, I will be ful fulfilling. So the Booster Boys and the Stink will go out as soon as possible. Then I gotta go. Yeah, that's awesome, dude, man. Books are in, and uh, that's amazing, dude. That's that's restoring some faith in. Uh, Work on the rest. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you was. Uh... <laughs> it's weird. It looks like it's stuck. Oh, I'm moving again. <laughs> you all right. How are the busts? How are the busts coming, Manny? The bus. I just got to put them together. So they're all painted. They're. They're painted. I just got to put the the final uh, clear coat over it and assemble them. Sweet. And, wow. So everything and the only thing that I, I want to do even extra for the bus, I want to make a, a box that it goes into. So I'll be working nice. on that. I want to make a, I want it to look as good as anything that you can get in a store. Yeah. That's the main thing. We just wanted this Conco pop. <laughs> next time, <laughs> next time. I just wanted this Conco pop. Oh, <laughs> oh the Conco pop. I could actually do this Conco pop, but it just wouldn't move. Yeah, I know. But it's still, still, well, you know, the thing is with those, I just keep them in the box anyway, as mm -hmm. I don't take them out, uh, out of the box and bobble their heads or anything like that. I just leave them in the box. Are you gonna but the nice thing about that one is it, it looks cute and the name just you know fits. Are you gonna stop white boxing me here too? I can, but, but no, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Everybody loves you. I know, but you no, know, they're gonna get bored of looking at Skunk Girl's face staring at them. No, Ooh. then I'm just building more anticipation for the for the Ooh. book. Like, oh, the book is there. We can get the book. You know, we're gonna get the book. But that's awesome, dude, man. Nah, man, that's that's amazing, man. <laughs> For Pablo, they're Pablo Bob's. <laughs> I will say, I gotta change my little thing because now, this is is it's no longer on demand, though, is it? It's a, in demand. I haven't taken it down yet. Okay, I, I haven't fulfilled yet, so I think I'm just gonna keep it up one day, figuring you right. see that I got the books in, and they might last minute jump that's in on true. it. That's true. Mm, speaking of uh, speaking of books, so so um, for those of you that are watching, and and if you know about Tangle the Broken Veil, uh, <laughs> yeah, Wap was thinking about doing a mini campaign because the book is done as far as uh, inks and whatnot. He's about to send it off to the colorist and the printer, uh, the letterer, the colorist, and then off to the printer. So if anybody is interested, uh, get with El Guapo Comics. On Twitter and uh, let him know so he so because uh, he's deciding on whether or not to do the mini campaign or not just for people who missed it and uh, were interested in it and he's also gonna do a campaign for Red Ten Volume One and Two. What is that so, about? Oh, it's it's great, man. And I've heard you talk about it. Yeah, so basically, is like I got the Christie's and then there were none. Oh, that, yeah, I was in that uh, in high school, the play. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's the same premise, a uh, whole bunch of superheroes, and they're being eliminated one by one. And it's it uses like a rhyme um, to to uh, to you know to put them down one by one. There's a there's a rhyme for it, and it's really nice, man. It's it's a full color. The one that I have, if I can find it, because I know I have it somewhere, because I do have the first copy. 
So here's my all my indie comic book stack. I see everything but Red 10. So I'm trying to figure out what happened to my Red 10 book. Well, that's not good. Ah, there it is. It's in the wrong stack. See, I got volume one, so I will probably have to uh, do the campaign for volume two. But this is uh, this was a gift from El Guapo, man, and it's it's a nice little book. I don't have a camera going on though. But basically, um, let me see if I can find the prologue. Uh, starts with 10 little heroes with reputations divine. That's how it, the, the, it starts with the little rhyme. And it's pretty cool, man. It's got some, it's got some heroes on it, um, but they're all being eliminated one by one. And um, the book is in full color. So I'm pretty sure it's going to fulfill pretty easily because he's I, I already own book one. So book two might, is probably something that I don't own, but they're probably putting together and that's a one and two cover. Now, book one is a hardcover book, full color. How many pages is this book? Because there's a lot of pages. I, I wish they would have like a page count on this, but I don't know. I'm not going to count them. It's about a half an inch thick. However many pages that is. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the, here's the rhyme on the back. Ten little heroes with reputations divine. One caught a virus, and then there were nine. Nine little heroes, each a victim of fate. One went to hell, and then there were eight. Eight little heroes sworn to protect, to protect their brethren. One lost his heart, and then there were seven. And it just keeps going like that, all the way till there were none. So it's a nice little book. I liked it. And uh, so I'm pretty sure if, if he does put it on Kickstarter, because he's thinking about putting it on Kickstarter, if y'all haven't gotten it, might be a nice little pickup. And maybe you can just go on Amazon or eBay or something and find an older copy that you don't have to pay as much for. Just to ch check out the first volume to see if you're interested in the second volume. Not a bad I idea. That, that sounds that sounds good enough. I'm going to back that. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the story is amazing, dude. Man, you know the the way it's being done. You know, you get the feeling that it's an inside person, someone that knows the team really well. Sure. But it, there is, you just don't know who. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool, man. And and creative ways of people dying for sure, for sure. It's not a you know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess all of them die because the prime is in the back. It's got but obviously a, they, they don't all die in the first volume if there's a second volume. Well, because they haven't died all. No, no. I think in the first volume they get to like hero. Let me see. I can at least do that. Let me flip through pages because there's a lot of art and a lot of backstory and stuff like that. So they got to set one bled out and then there were five. They got all the way to five on the first volume. So there's five more heroes to go on the second volume. Well, no, there was nine of them, right? Ten. Yeah. So then there's five more to go on the second volume. And I think he said he was going to do it as, as a compendium, but apparently he's doing volume one and two. I don't know. Pretty good book. I like it. So I think it's going to be an interesting story. If you like uh, Who Done It Mysteries with superhero powers thrown in, a couple of gruesome deaths here and there. <laughs> and some of the deaths are pretty gruesome. Uh, then this is your story. This is your story. Full show. Let's see. I see. Uh, Good Thought Press has got the skit, the, the little cards on his uh, screen now, and this is why he said, "Don't, don't highlight me." E. And then he puts all the good stuff that Josh wanted to see on there. Well, I mean, I was setting it up. I mean, you were setting yeah. it up. Are you good? Are you I good? To go? it now. Well, you highlight it. 
who wants to see it when I'm sitting up the slot? Looks boring. <laughs> Looks awesome. Everybody wants to see your your model hands, your hand models, your model <laughs> hand model hands. There you go. <laughs> Jazz hands now. <laughs> All together now, everybody jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there they go. So you want to talk about those cards for those that weren't here last time? No. Nope. Yep. Uh, Maybe well, well, no. Actually, well, I actually have them in order. Cool. So we have the cards that were stretch goals, which we we hit three of the stretch goals. We didn't hit the, the last two, but everybody's getting them all. That, that's the way I roll. Everybody's going to get them. That's the Even way though we didn't make the stretch goals, I still printed them up. We're good to go. That doesn't mean that's going to happen with Skunk Girl 2, everybody. So. <laughs> well, these, these, cards were, these cards, I mean, I got these cards forever and ever and ever, so I don't know what, what I'm going to do with them. I mean, right. I a lot of them. That way... It was it was cost effective to print up more than I needed. Right. We got Tank Ferret Art, the very first stretch goal, which we met the first stretch goal in 29 minutes. So that was that was amazing. And then we had a uh, El Guapo, which I think we hit that stretch goal in day two. I mean, we're hitting, we're doing great. The first three days, we were doing great until we got kind of put in a corner to put it nicely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because seriously, people, nobody could find Skunk Girl. If you went on Indiegogo, it was buried. Yeah, you was, really had to look for it. You had to look for it. You had to know what the hell Skunk Girl was all about. It was not like you could just stumble upon her. Because if right. you punched in comic books, she did not show up. <laughs> Never did she show up. So I don't know how I got people still bought the book after the first couple of days she she was buried so i'm going to say this don't get no conspiracy theory it's just a fact uh even chongo same thing with chongo same thing with niobe same thing with little girl lethal they all got buried <clears throat> so we got el guapo comics was the second stretch goal and then it took a while before we got to josh chris's stretch goal which was a five thousand dollar mark. This was thousand, three thousand, five thousand. And they were supposed to get seven, and we we're supposed to get the nine thousand. We never got those stretch goals, which is which is fine. We're building, we're building trust. I'm building a brand here. So the people that missed out on this first first run, when it gets out there, and I, hopefully I get good reviews. I know I'm going to get some people that no matter how good the book is, how bad the book is, there's going to be negative re reviews, guaranteed. We know that. But this got to live with it. So hopefully we get more positives than negatives. And like I said, making sure we get the book out on time, giving the extra things to the backers, you know, giving a good product, just building the building reputation, bu building, building the name up. And so that's what we're doing. So we got Josh Chris, then we got Pope Raven, which is the, the winning artwork from the, the fan art contest. And then last but not least, we got Trusty Sidekick. With, with Manny the Manatee. Manny the Manatee. <laughs> and then this, this card, if you notice, there's one skunk here that you can't see. I actually scratch off the, uh, scratch off the UV off, off of that. And actually draw in that skunk and that card only goes to people that backed not backing the book but who signed up for the book from uh the pre-launch page so if you sign up for pre-launch page you get that and you get only for the people that signed up they'll get this print nobody else will get these prints so limited edition Whoever signed up, they get they get the card, they get the they get the print. So nice. That's for those early bird people, pre pre launch, really early bird. <laughs> and like I said, whoever gets the variant cover, they get this print also. 
Nice. So, and they don't have to, because you're not going to be able to see the back of your book. So I made sure that I got the print there for you. It's, it's printed on 80 pound paper, really thick. As you can see, I'm holding it up. It's not collapsing. Yeah. It's, a, it's really good paper. Nice. <laughs> Compared to regular paper. This is regular paper, people. <laughs> you see the difference? This is regular paper. This is 80 pound paper. Yeah, it don't bend. I mean, it bends, but it doesn't collapse. So that's that's what we got. That's what we got on my my music stand. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's awesome, man. People are pretty happy about that. I know Josh is super excited, and of course, a trustee super excited about those yeah. cards. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, so yeah. I, it, on the back of the cards, uh, none of none of these guys know about it, but I did put a little bio on the back. <gasps> uh oh, <laughs> now I have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you do not know who I am. <laughs> there, is, oh. there, there is a little bio, bio, and all it is is just you know, art by who whoever's on the the front of the cover, and pretty much how I met the the artist. And then we we're on the digital bullpen with the dog the dog stars. Pretty much. That's all it is. The back of mine just says ding a ding 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 ding. Well, you know what's on the back of yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know what's on the back of his. CK. Oh, oh god, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm out. <laughs> CK. Oh, it's too blurry. I can't see it. <laughs> Oh my God, the Copa kid! Too sexy, yeah. too sexy. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, you're never gonna let it down. I'm gonna have to tell, now I'm gonna have to tell my wife about it. It may have to become official. Oh Lord, you, you know, it's, it's all Jimmy's fault. It's all, it's it all wasn't my fault. I know it wasn't my fault. Know. It was. You know it was no. What had happened was a long, oh, no. long, 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 long. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Jimmy's fault. It was not Jimmy's fault. A long, long, long time ago, when Chris, Josh and I were streaming, minding our own business, um, someone was looking not for an me. artist, right? And uh, and then someone says, "Well, I wonder how much the Copic kid charges," <laughs> and that's how that happened. Yep. So it was a one-time deal, but you kept on perpetuating it. Yes. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> Because I thought it was hilarious. Oh, Lord. He, kept, he, he uses a lot of Copic markers. Okay, just to make sure, okay, people, I did get it in. So they don't think I only got the, what you call it, the, the proofs in. No, I did get all of them in. <laughs> I got them all. <laughs> so I can't fulfill, okay? <laughs> like, oh, say, Manny, Manny's only got a proof set. He, he don't got the cards. No, I got all the cards. I got all the cards. <laughs> Pablo, say, Pablo says it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life, Josh. Josh Chris, aka the Copic Kid. Yeah, now, we can, now we can see it better. The Copic Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just see him there, you know, with his chaps and his cowboy hat and, and Copic markers in his holsters. <laughs> Copic's gonna send me a letter saying uh, we don't uh, we don't agree with this. <laughs> you have to do a season about. <laughs> Copic, send me free stuff. There you we go. do not sponsor Josh Chris Art. We do not appreciate <laughs> you. No, it's not Josh is gonna get the. It's gonna be me. <laughs> like you need to stop calling that guy the Copic kid. There. Yeah, if I get a letter saying don't don't call yourself that anymore, I'm gonna. Uh, Here's here's Jimmy's number. <laughs> it's canon. It was printed on cards already. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take away the Copic Kid's name, man. <laughs> can't take it away. We just have to change the spelling, like Copic with K instead of C. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, but that was so hilarious. That that evening was so funny. I don't think anything. No, nothing ever came of that either. No, nothing ever came of that. I don't even remember, I don't even remember who, who wrote that to me. Uh, I don't either. 
to be honest with you. That's why I was like a long, long, it was so long ago, dude. We talked about over a year ago. Yep. We're talking a long time ago, man. That's whoa. That was it was so funny. You know, I think Manny was on the stream with us. Uh, maybe. I think he was playing the lady at that time. Well, that would be back in December. That's the only time I played the it was it was a pretty long time ago. It was a long time ago. Long, yeah, long was, time ago. It was like ages, man. Like I I, I I'm surprised because you know with my old mind, I'm surprised I even remember how the story went. Your old mind. My old mind. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I tell you. Yeah. Imagine Josh going to some remote place in the Himalayas and some random guy from the village says to him, It's you, the Copic kid. Uh, the legend of the Copic kid. So the legend why, why of the Copic kid. Trust me, a Roman officer. Say again now. Why do you trust the Roman all of a sudden? Oh. A Roman? Trustee and sidekick in this. It's another E thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, no hailing me, though. Oh, Lord. It's another E thing. Sometimes yeah. I call him, call him that. You yeah, know he, how I he calls me Trusticamus, and I said, no, no, it's Trustinian. Justinian. Like Justinian. And then, so, and then we got uh, Josh Chris as a, as a, uh, what you call it, a card, card holder plus ultra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, card protector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's how we do, man. That's funny, though, man. <laughs> card captor Josh. Look, if we all ever, if we all ever hang out together and we go to a restaurant or something or something like that, we have to say, uh, yeah, the name is Copic uh, Kid plus Party of Three. <laughs> <laughs> Copic Kid Jordan, plus Party of Three. I go to lunch with, uh, with, with my buddy Steve. I make him order first, and then they'll be like, what's the name of the order? And he'll be like, Steve. And then I'll go up and I'll place my order. I'm like, what's the name of the order? I'm like, not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! No, we're gonna definitely we're gonna have to do that. Uh, Josh and Trusty Saga of Dueling Copics. <laughs> oh, I don't have many Copics. Half of the ones that I have are drying out. Go to dickblick.com. That's right, dickblick.com. <laughs> I know, man. I'm just poor. <laughs> I just placed yeah. an order uh, yesterday or the day before for a whole bunch of more. Uh, uh, refills from my, my pins. Yeah, Josh is like the, the, the ooh, hiring for .NET systems operator. Oh, <laughs> in New Jersey though. Nope. I'm not going to do it. Sorry. I got distracted. My little email flashed. I was like, Oh, really? I just wish my camera showed the Copics a lot better. That, that's why I don't want to even stream me coloring Copics anymore. Yeah, it doesn't show up very well on the digital. I just or on the on the YouTube. I just don't like it. The colors don't look right. They don't look the same as whenever I take a picture and post it. Uh, you know, I I've called a blind, so I couldn't be of much help. I'm like, Jimmy like, like, looks right to me. I'm like, not really, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I'm being honest, right? Because well, I'm not, I'm not poking fun, but yeah. <laughs> I'm being super honest because to me they do look great. But, I felt you know, so I felt so bad when we played Ark, and I was like, "Go to the blue pillar." And you're like, "Um, I'm like, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot." And Jeremy, my brothers are like, "What's wrong with him?" Like, He's colorblind, buddy. You can't see the colors like that. <laughs> the glowy thing. <laughs> like he says, "Go to the blue thing." I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was like what blue thing? <laughs> I was like, do you see something shiny? Yeah, go to that. <laughs> it's like, what blue thing? What are you talking about? I see something glowing. That was actually um, the solution in one of the issues of the Maze Agency, which is the comic 
uh, written by Mike W. Barr and illustrated at first by Adam Hughes, one of the first things he did. Uh, but they they solved the mystery because a person was honking at a stoplight when it was red, thinking it was green. They oh, forgot wow. which was on top and which was on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, it's no, it, it gets bad when we played uh, Halo with my with our other <laughs> our friends. Says I can't tell who's who. I'm kind of like. A shotgun blast at my teammate five times in a row. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but don't they have a colorblind mode? They just, it doesn't really do much for me, man. I got Really? I don't think Halo. Um, There's some games that have colorblind modes now. Yeah, I don't think Halo did, though. Maybe not I that version. I know uh, Destiny does for sure. And I do find them, you know. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's funny. Like, uh, you know, like. Like, so so the blue lines that um El Wapo sent me, I can't see those. <laughs> you mean the gray line? I can't, I can't see them. Like I really have a hard time. I put it down. I have to put light on it. I have to put like two or three lights on it to find the lines on the paper. I'm like, I can't ink this, man. <laughs> <laughs> El Guapo didn't even send me anything, just blank sheets. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> messing with you. What a jerk. <laughs> Natural light helps a lot. So if I put it by the window, you know, I, I could kind of see. But then when I put my hand down to start drawing, then my hand blocks the light. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I digress. I laugh because it's funny to me. I was like, I told us, dude, I, I, can't, I can't see the lines. So, uh, I'm probably going to take a picture and then do them digitally. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's like, oh, my Lord. Oh, my goodness. I have to laugh. I have to laugh. To keep... Now, you know, uh, I can see them digitally, but, like, when I do it on digital and I convert the, the, the darks to blues, I can see them on digital. But on that paper, I, I can't. I couldn't see it. I don't know what... Um, and I had that problem too when I was when I first bought um a blue line pencil to to sketch with. I was like, uh, okay, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, can you see I red? See, I can see the red because it just looks dark. You know, it, it it has a higher contrast. Right. I was gonna say you can always do the red. The red. Um, God dang! If I could talk, uh, red, red lead instead of blue. But yeah, now, when, I, um, when I was a kid, my dad, um, he told me, you know, he was going to make copies of my stuff at work. And when he said, you know, the red shows up really, really well. So I, I had one comic sequence I drew entirely in red. Yeah, the red shows up good. Um, the Unbreathable Comic Girl says, hello, Lorenzo. Good job, press honey. I don't know if that's for Lorenzo or for the Unbreathable Skunk Girl. I'll leave Manny decipher that on his own. Wow. And, um, yeah, but then I bought a mechanical pencil with blue lead, and apparent in that blue lead, I could see perfectly. I, I don't know if it's a different shade of blue or what, but that mechanical pencil draws. I, th I think it's because it's a sharper line than the regular pencil. I could see that with no problem. But uh, the red one, yeah, I could, I could see that when I'm sketching. As a matter, of, but uh, wow, man, I, I have I have such a hard time seeing those lines. Um, and then, of course, I was trying to ink it, and uh, then I messed it all up. Maybe for you, E. Wow, thanks, good dog. I knew you loved me. <laughs> I knew. I knew I was special. Oh, we know you're special. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Question is, is a short bus special or just special for your heart, baby? He's special. Very special. Very special. Very, 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 very special. So special. But uh, <laughs> you guys gotta whisper it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's nah. gonna have some of your attention. Man, I tell you what. But man, no. But it's good news. The book is in. Anybody that wanted to get the breathable skunk girl, y'all better hurry up and go to that page. Oh man, I'm trying on the wrong layer again. Oh well. 
It is a quality yeah. work. Like you're going to get a quality package like Bigfoot Bill, you know, and everybody saw how, what a great package Bigfoot Bill turned out to be. I'm, I know there are lots of people who are thinking, man, I wish I'd gotten that. I mean, I'm one of those people. I was not crazy about the concept or anything, but when I saw the final package, like, dang, I wish I'd gotten that. Yeah, the package is amazing. I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I'll say uh, between Manny and Doug. You're gonna get some good stuff for sure, for sure. You know, I mean, it looked good from what I saw, and you yeah, know, I mean, the printing is good, it's everything is just you know, we don't see what their reaction to the the book is. Well, it's like you said, right? Dallas Cowboys beats the Giants 37 to 18. All right, awesome, I like that because I hate the Giants and I love the Cowboys. My, my computer just told me that. I'll catch the highlights later. And Matt Cross Comics is in the house saying hello to everybody. Hey, Rick. Okay, so I know the question on everybody's minds is, uh, has Pablo done a sexy Ray from Star Wars yet? He did a amazing Rose Tico that got a lot of love. And people have been doing cute and sexy Rays. Has Pablo done one? I don't know. That Rose Tico actually looked good. I know, right? His Captain Marvel was excellent. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, so he I saw a tweet today that that he got credit for inspiring. So there's another Captain uh, Mia Khalifa, Captain Marvel, about to be drawn up. So uh, that's gonna be interesting. So we'll see how much uh, how much Twitter sphere chaos that causes. Jimmy knows, Jimmy knows the girl's name now. I, now I do. I didn't know. Who was. I didn't. Yeah, no. I mean, after after it was explained to me in depth, I was like, okay, <laughs> uh, okay. Now I know who she is. But the thing is, well, I could bring that to light for you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what in the world are they talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. Uh, thanks, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> that expert background uh, well, knowledge. Did you yeah. Hopefully, did your research on private mode on your phone. <laughs> I didn't do any more research. I just took. I just took your word on it. <laughs> the wife grabs his phone, honey. It's for it's for comic books, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to get me. You're trying to get me hemmed up. It's that damn Copa kid. He strikes again. <laughs> the Copa kid strikes again. <laughs> I blame I blame the Kopi kid. I'll get a nasty email from her. Cause her trouble and rides off in the sunset. Oh uh, yeah, Pablo says it was Mia Khalifa and Gwenpool, I think it was. Yeah, somebody somebody added uh, tagged Pablo Romero on it. I thought it was kind of hilarious. Pablo is 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 now has a following on Twitter with uh Mia Khalifa drawings. <laughs> Pablo's making Hinte. <laughs> hey, look, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it proves, Pablo, it proves that. <laughs> Pablo is making is making a lot of friends on a Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Rose Tico one I did because I wanted to do something different and also because I saw someone do the pink hair character. Gotcha. You know, <clears throat> that's cray cray. Yeah, that that roast eagle did come out pretty good. Lorenzo's in the house as well. I forgot to say hi to Lorenzo Sleestack. He's in the house. We got Cross oh, Lorenzo. No. Pablo. Yeah, we got we got we got people coming in now. Uh oh, uh oh. There's a man. He taking pictures of his handiwork. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Twitter, a yeah. Twitter to follow soon. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna go to Doc Tars and it's gonna say please RT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say please RT. You guys do it without even me asking for it. Yeah. What we do. We got used to it from the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I do not do it very often. Those drawings exploded. They have more like 22k likes each, says Pablo about his drawings. 
tell you, man, Pablo's the man now. Paolo's the man. <laughs> KG says, too late. I already screenshot and tweeted. <laughs> Pablo says, it's insane. Who thought big chested versions of characters is a thing? Hey, man, you know, some of those characters needed needed a, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> augmentation, enhancement. Uh, they needed to eat a cracker. They need a little yeah. love. Huh? <laughs> they, needed, they, needed, they needed some love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they weren't looking, they weren't looking very, very feminine at all. No. no. They were looking like an ironing board. Mm-hmm. You know. <clears throat> he what, says I got a lot of commission requests. There you go, Bob. Yeah. What made me think of it is I saw another, you know, picture advertising the rise of Skywalker, and there was. You know Daisy Ridley. You know, you know. I think she's you know she's attractive enough. You know, but she's just. I don't know if they had her bound or if you know whatever. But just you know, ah, she had no shape. Um, maybe it's the clothes. I don't know. It may maybe it may be. Oh, maybe she has no shape. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not gonna be that mean. I'm gonna say that it's the clothes that are that are designed it, it to, to be. It appeared to be that way. I think I'm gonna say that it's the clothes that have been designed to uh, to make her look um, prepubescent. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say that. I'm not gonna say like a boy. Paolo says she is skinny. Well, I need to get her some arroz con habichuelas. That that'll get that'll get some meat on the bones. Uh oh, there goes good dog press. He's typing. He's typing. Let me get, <laughs> let me get my phone. <laughs> Is it that loud? <laughs> nah, nah, I just hear you. Yeah, it's it's here, loud man. enough that we, we know exactly what you're typing and exactly which letters. Unbreathable Stoker will start to be fulfilled this week. Yay. Should I say yay? Yeah, put yay. Rebel Comics says, Manny and the Dingo. It's now that he knows that you're fulfilling, he's saying Manny and the Dingo is a thing now for sure. Thanks to all the dog stars. Thanks to all the Thanks to Manny. <laughs> the mission book one is a done dealio. One is a done dilly o dilly 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 o. I have no doubt that Manny will package it better than the printer did. Yeah, yeah. I, I just spent over a hundred dollars on packing stuff to be. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack it better. <laughs> Plus, I bought the Gemini's also, so you got to add that in also. Yeah, it's, I, I'm going to make sure that they go out and they do not get damaged. Yes. Yeah, definitely, man. You definitely want to make sure they come in nice and pristine and spiffy. You know, <clears throat> that way we can uh, we can destroy it at our own at our own pace. Yep. Man, I haven't done this in a long time. Pet all you guys. That, that's how long it's been since I tweeted. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody's happy about the Manic Dingo Hour now. <laughs> Apparently that's that's a thing that's gonna happen. Manny, you're gonna have to make good on your promise about that doggone show now. Oh yeah, well once I fulfill, remember I said I need to fulfill because there's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting people. That's all I'm gonna say. 
It's going to be interesting. It's all he's going to say. It's going to be interesting. So, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, so I got to I gotta be careful. Let's see what we got going on here. Yep. <clears throat> Will you have guests on the Dingle Hour? Because Rebel Comics wants to be the first guest. I'm thinking uh, I, we already have a first guest, so you guys are going to be shocked who that's going to be. It's Bette Midler. Oh, Lord, no. Uh, no, not what's the other one? The older lady, Barbara Streisand. Mm. <laughs> Betty White. Betty White. What? No, I, I, can't, I can't tell you who it's going to be. Betty White. <laughs> Betty White. There you go. Betty White would be awesome, <laughs> actually. Doctor Phil. No. I hope not. <laughs> I think it will be Betty White. No, no, no. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna put some interesting people on that show, that's for sure. I think it's gonna be Betty White. Oh my god, no, please no. Rebel Comics says EVS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that. No, not even yes, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that Rebel Comics knows who I, I want to get on the first shows. Oh my goodness. An elegant but yet humble man. <laughs> A 26 year uh, veteran of the industry. Bring Betty White on. She's more. She's one of my favorites. See, Betty White. I'm telling you, man. That's a hit. Let's see. <laughs> says, see, staying off social media and working on a project gets us fulfilled on time. Shock and awe. You know, shock and awe. I don't know why Larry. Why Larry keeps keeps making hints. A big, a great big Star Wars fan. Oh, you gonna bring that Star Wars girl? No. You just gotta wait and see. Oh, oh man. Nothing I'm impatient though. I know you're impatient. Just wait, man. All right, fine. Oh man. Freaking Manny. Freaking Manny. Freaking Manny. Freaking Manny. It's gonna Damn. be Squirrel Girl. It's gonna be uh -huh, it's gonna be Squirrel Girl. Don't girl. Squirrel Girl? No. She no. she, she, she don't know. She don't want to do that kind of stuff. What about Squirrel Girl? Squirrel? Hmm. No squirrels allowed. Manny, no squirrels allowed. I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. No squirrels allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to buy mugwise. I don't know. That's that's create an interesting question. Did anyone see the video of Ricey breaking Mitch Breitweiser? Uh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. No, I haven't seen that video. It's... Is that just the the stream where Ricey was commenting? Mm -hmm. how Mitch was. Uh... Streaming or is, is has been broken out, you know, into a separate video. I don't know, you know, um, but whatever Rice has said, he's probably right in saying it. You know, I lost faith in the Bright Weisers. Well, maybe it's in the who. Uh, Mitch and Elizabeth Brightweiser. Ah, that is, that's cool. <clears throat> Based rice, he says Lorenzo. But no, but you know, I I'm not even gonna even waste my breath on that. Yeah, you probably want ear crackers, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unbelievable stuff on the background talking about. Manny, want a cracker? Yeah. I'm all. No. 
KG must be laughing his butt off. <laughs> what the hell is all wet over here? <laughs> what <did you> do? <laughs> Everybody's having a fun time, honey. <laughs> what did you spill? Water. Why? Uh, because I had a whole bunch of stuff in my hands, and man, he got too excited. He got packages in. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just to yell at the dog. <laughs> Things. Mom, I know. <laughs> Mom, get out of my room. Manny, you got some explaining to do. Where did you put your crackers? You want your crackers? No. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out on that dog. I got to go get my stuff. Hey, try not to touch my food. No touch. <laughs> Come here. Of course, Manny don't want his crackers. He's peeled his water. He's got no water. Why do you need crackers with his water? Do you know that? Do you guys have any fun about that? What's <laughs> <laughs> the most action going on right now? Next time on the Manny household. <laughs> yeah. So much That's fun. Log onto the screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I got tears coming down my eyes. <laughs> Not that funny. <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Stop it's laughing. just crackers. It's like, do you want your crackers? Anyone want a cracker? Anyone want a cracker? Anyone want a cracker? Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take back the tweet now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That man said. What is over? <laughs> Why is it so wet in here? Benny was excited about <laughs> coming in. I got packages. Well, the whole thing was I was bringing all this stuff up to share it to great people out there. And I went to go open up the door. The door hit me and water on the ground. Yeah. That's what happened. It happens, people. It happens. Oh, my. Water happens. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm watching my Xbox. This is great. Everybody loved that part. The part about the cracker and the water was amazing. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> the thing is I, I laugh hard. I laugh I laugh hard because because <laughs> this is an ongoing thing in the many household, right? <laughs> The jalapeno cake. I forgot about the cake. The jalapeno cake. And now the wet floor with the crackers. <laughs> and then he says, Manny, change the subject and show the doggo, please. <laughs> the dog was on my lap. But... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you see sure? the stuff didn't turn oh, the, the water with the crackers. Yeah, I got the charger in here. Are you charging? Yeah. <laughs> There's a mute button, Manny. <laughs> my charger. <laughs> you got the charger in there? Yeah. Are you charging? Yeah. I else would I have the charger in here? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to love to hear this replay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can stop the stream in 11 minutes and go on with your merry life. I get to get all the ramifications. Thank you. We love her. Like and share, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> 48-minute mark. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But the jalapeno cake was, was another amazing time. Question is, what is Manny charging? Well, Manny, Manny is charging Manny. We're talking about people's court. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Manny gets in trouble. He blames me for it. I laugh so much about it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. It's all right. Soon I can get on Jimmy because whenever Jimmy was playing the video game last with me, because he hasn't played now since then. I haven't played any video games since then. He him and said, Honey, it's time to get off the game. You're cussing too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that did happen. That did happen. <laughs> he was like, Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And I hear, Bling, bling. <laughs> Stupid game. I gotta go, guys. Wife says I'm cursing too much. <laughs> uh, it's because of the it's because of the new edition. We're trying not to. Uh, oh, I get it. I understand that. Not to teach bad habits. Like I said, my son didn't learn how to say the words. He learned how to spell the words. Yeah. I blamed you for that, by the way. What? I thought it was your idea to play that game. Are you still going to play it? We're going to stream it, baby. One of these days. You just got to yeah. tell me when you're ready because I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff set up for us. Yeah. <clears throat> I get in there one of these days. I just <laughs> I just got to hit time to do it. Let's see. Uh, comic Book Boss says, I just streamed Baldur's Gate. That game is a lot harder than I remembered. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I did play some Outer Worlds for a while. I, I like that game. I saw you playing that. I've heard nothing but good things about that game. Man, it, if, if you like Firefly, um, you're going to like this game. Well, pretty much everyone's saying it's it's Fallout in space. Yeah, it's great. But not the not the new Fallout, the, the, the good no, Fallout. Fallout Vegas. It, it, it's pretty good, man. I like it. I get lost in it because there's so much dialogue, you know, it, it you know, with a lot of clicking dialogue. And I've heard it's a game that if you don't read it, you're going to make a mistake and regret it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot, a lot of dialogue, a lot of dialogue. And then oh. I'm, my problem is, is that I'm too kind hearted, right? So, I, so you could, so, so, so. You get three choices. You can side with one side and destroy the other side. You can get with the other side to destroy the other side, or you can find a way to get the two sides to work together. Now, trying to get the two sides to work together makes the mission way longer than it has to be. Well, I've heard a lot of people that have restarted certain points because of the decision they made because they were clicking too fast mm -hmm. and didn't realize what was about to happen. Yeah. No, so so uh, I gotta go back because I saw someone else streaming it and I missed the side mission. I didn't even know it was there. I was like, wait a minute, what? And I'm ahead of that person by a long shot. Oh my goodness! But uh, Marcus says I got eight minutes left. Oh man, already? All right, it goes by quick, man. Especially with that whole cracker water charger mm -hmm. incident. It was it's it's awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, Manny. I'm laughing with you. Are. you. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> Let's see. Mentioned by Good Dog Press on Twitter. Changing the subject. <laughs> <laughs> the book and cards are in. I will fulfill the order starting this week. Thank you all for the wonderful packer. Thanks to the Doc Shot for all the help behind the scenes. A colorblind E, Josh, Chris, Art. KG Mighty Wrench, Trusty Psychic 3, Tank Fair, our comic book mom. Yay! I'm going to give it a heart and retweet with a comment. Much love. Much amor. Oh, tweet. I'm going to get on there a second, too. I don't do anything on Twitter, but I'll do something for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. Yeah, but <laughs> I love Manny, man. I'm telling you. I, I, have, I have so much fun when Manny's around. I try. I try. Oh, what happened with my? We all love Manny, especially at this festive time of year. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want any cold, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, Manny Claus. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> that dude made me laugh too hard. Yeah, but Josh, I did blame you for that one, man. I didn't do it. You do it yourself. I didn't like, make you guess. I said, man, my baby Josh made me play that stupid game. Tell Josh. I'm just trying to get you involved in some different streaming stuff, man. She said, tell Josh to leave me alone when it comes to those terrible games. Whatever. She said, you don't cuss the other games. I said, I know, but this game is really, 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 really Oh, you're just not awake during that time. <laughs> 
No, you know, she, she's around somewhere. Oh, Jamie Long has a comic for you. Looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Light by KG. Everybody's, everybody's getting in on the action. Well, you know what? <clears throat> now I got to find that one dude that I promised him a copy of the book to let him know. Give me his info so I can send him that book. I did promise that dude. That's why I wanted to <clears throat> bike in, back in it twice. Five minutes, says KG. Five minutes, Dougie. Five minutes, He's Dougie. Baking Five. a book and back in it twice. Yeah. <clears throat> no, because that dude, he you know, he was like, Oh, this is all I can do. I was like, man, you know what? It's all right. <clears throat> all girl terminator projected to lose a hundred million. Yep, that's yeah. one of the one of the news articles I saw this morning. That's that's so amazing. <clears throat> it sucks, man. The whole like I said, once I found out what the plot was, man, it, it just all faith in that whole series is gone now. Yeah, they, they didn't they're not they're not doing no good. I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything good about it, to be honest with you, and it is what it is. I did hear that Marvel is going to do an R-rated MCU. Uh, stream of movies, possibly. And with hired by Pablo Romero. <laughs> yeah, Miss Borigo says, Wepa. Hola, Miss Borigo. Gracias por venir. <clears throat> no, they're going to do like, uh, they're thinking about doing a, what's the books are in? Looks like he's eating some food. He got his crackers. She no, that's it. the crackers she gave me. That's not my crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Got her crackers. Got his crackers. That's not yeah, the white, that's the white cracker. I don't like the yeah. white cracker. That's what he's going to tell the judge. They're not my crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the circle cracker, the, the, the Ritz one. The Ritz. There's some Ritz, oh, Ritz crackers. Anyway. Everything tastes good on Ritz. Welcome. Oh, thanks for dropping a like. We're about to do the outros. Um, but uh, yeah, speaking of outros, let's start with um, I guess Trusty. He's right next to me on the, on my little layout thing. <clears throat> All right. Well, I I said, boy, I hope I'm not spending this entire stream inking hair, and yet here we are, still inking hair. Uh, you can find me at Trusty Sidekick Three on Twitter, Trusty Sidekick Art on Instagram, and always with the digital bullpen. Nice, nice, nice. And let me go back to StreamYard and oh, Josh Chris Hart. Yeah, I'm Josh Chris Hart. You can find me here with the ERTs and the guys at the Digital Bullpen as often as I actually can get on here. Um, this is one of the posters I'm working on. Uh, we'll have a Comic-Con going to at the end of the month. So if you're in the Louisville area, uh, the Galaxy Con will be there. Um, stop by, let me know, and uh, maybe we can do something. All right, all right, awesome. And the books are in, the books are in. There, there you go. Now he got his crackers <laughs> with no water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta get water now. All righty, thank you for having me on, Ian. As you guys see, the books are in. Here, the books are. And I will start fulfilling. I'm going to start packing them up tomorrow. So it's going to be fun packing all these books up and getting them out to you guys. And will you be shipping crackers? What's that? Will you be shipping crackers? If you want one. I don't think you really want that in your comic book, John. Crackers. I got a little hungry. <laughs> it's going to kind of ruin the book. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'll be sending out the books this week. So I hit my goal. Uh, fulfillment awesome. in November. It can be done, folks. Yep. So that, that's the way it's done, people. Make sure you get your books done before you... Well, the book wasn't 100% complete. There was there was a lot of uh, editing, a lot of going over the colors, a lot of going over the, the dialogue. Try to, try to get all the mistakes, but some of them eked by, unfortunately, and it happens. So... But it's it's there. I mean, I'm go I'm gonna close down the the campaign within the next couple of days. Once I start fulfilling the orders, I'm gonna close it down. And so you can get me on Good Dog Press. I will start once I fulfill this. 
I will start to live stream again and do some incredible live streams that might open some people's eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Get me on Twitter, Good Dog Press, and the Unbreathable Skunker on Instagram. And thank you for having me on, E. No problem, Mo. And of course, I am your humble host, uh, E Ortiz. And you can find me on colorblind underscore E on Twitter. You can find me on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram as E Ortiz Arts. <clears throat> and of course, here on YouTube as E Ortiz. I want to thank everybody that joined us, the panel, and of course, the gracious uh, people in the chat, the back that come here every single time we stream and support us, you know. Uh, we really appreciate y'all. I'm glad that you enjoyed the show. You find it relaxing. You find it, um, you know, interesting, funny, and all that good stuff. <clears throat> and we also uh, appreciate uh, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl or Skunky, the VIP, for giving us that comic relief during the middle of the stream. It was awesome. We love her so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, of course, anytime I can poke a little fun at Manny, it's, it's an amazing, amazing day. I hope everybody has a good evening. God bless and good night. Enough shed. Bye-bye.